All right, so today what we're going to do is we're going to deal with inequalities, but we're dealing with them in word problems. So now what we have to have is we need to know a whole bunch of phrases and understand what they mean. So here I put up a deal of word phrases, okay, and you should be able to go to your canvas and there should be a list of these things if you need them. So make sure you go back and check that out. So word phrases, less than, more than, no more than, and now look, no more than is less than or equal to. Okay, that, this is a key here, right? No more than is actually less than or equal to. No less than is greater than or equal to. So you've got to be paying attention, watching how these are, because no more than is less than or equal to. You're going to mess that up if you're not paying attention. No less than is greater than or equal to. Maximum, less than or equal to. Minimal, greater than, greater than or equal to. And you got to watch these. At most, at least. Okay? These word phrases are the common ones that we mess up. So watch them, pay attention to them, make sure you're putting the right inequality with the right word phrase. Very easy to mess this up. I still mess this up on occasion, so be, be careful with it. Watch it. Okay? So what we're going to do is our work today is going to be off of Get More Math. But really, it's all these word problems that we go through. So whenever you go through these, make sure you're paying attention to them. So here's our first problem. Which real-world problem best describes best described with the following inequality? So here they give you the inequality, and they expect you to go in and find the word problem. Yes. This is on our test. Our test. I have a problem like this on our test. So you're going to have to be able to get this inequality and go through and pick which problem it is. And I can almost bet that you're going to see it again on some standardized test later down the road. Uh, so make sure you know how to do this. All right, so 2.75x plus 4.25 is less than or equal to 37.25. So first thing we're going to do, all right, less than or equal to. We're looking for the one that has something that ties back to less than or equal to. That's what we're looking for. So our inequality should be this. Now all our numbers still have to line up, but we're going to look for something that tells me, oh, it's going to be less than or equal to. So that's one of the first things we're going to do. All right, so here we go. Each cheeseburger costs two seventy-five, dollars and an order of nacho costs four twenty-five. dollars How many cheeseburgers did Jinyu buy if she spent less than $37.25? Well, that doesn't work. That doesn't work right here because it says spent less than. It has to include that, less than or equal to, because this is less than or equal to. Well, less than doesn't work, so I can cross that one out. I don't even have to set it up. I just can cross that out. All right, keep going. Each cheeseburger costs $4.25 and a order of nachos costs $2.75. How many nachos did she buy? Did she spend less than third? There it is again, less than. I can cross that one out. I know that doesn't work. Each cheeseburger costs $4.25 and order of nachos costs $2.75. How many cheeseburgers did she buy? She spent less than. Again, there we go. So that only leaves us one, one answer, but let's read it and make sure we understand what's going on here. Each cheeseburger costs $2.75 and an order of nachos costs $4.25. So $2.75 times X, because that's the number of cheeseburgers that we have, plus an order of nachos, $4.25. How many cheeseburgers did Jinyun buy as she spent no more than? No more than. So over there on our list was no more than, and it had less than or equal to. Okay, so no more than, less than or equal to, 37.25. So there it is, right there. There's our deal. 275x, 275x, plus 425, plus 425, less than or equal to, 37.25. Less than or equal, or no more than, 37.25. There's our answer. Don't overcomplicate this, but read through these and watch for your, watch for the telltale signs of it. this is good, this is bad. Okay, that's what you're looking for. All right, so we got that one. Now, which of the following inequalities represents the following situation? Again, we have a situation, but now we, they gave us the situation. We got to go find the inequality. Okay. The quotient of a number in two. Well, quotient, answer to a division problem, 
is a minimum, minimum of 116. So it can't be less than 116. It's a minimum. That's the lowest it's going to be. Okay? So a quotient of a number and two. Well, quotient, the answer to a division problem. So I would have used x over 2, just because I like x a little bit better, uh, is a minimum. So greater than or equal to 116, minimum. And I, just in case, I'm going to check, I'm gonna, just in case I'm going to check my word bank over there, minimum, greater than or equal to, greater than or equal to, and here, this is what we're looking for right here, okay? So right there. This is 2p, uh, less than 116, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, yeah. And once, once you've identified this right here, a lot of times you can go back and look inside your problem and see which one's on. You should be at least able to admit, eliminate two of them, if, especially with a multiple choice problem. Should be able to eliminate two. All right, so there's that. All right. Write an inequality for the following problem. Use m for your variable. The same thing as the last one, really. Now they, they actually told us what to use for our variable. All right. So 22 less than 8 times the number. All right, so right here. You are going to look at this here and go, oh, there's my inequality. Mm, be careful with that because less than can be used as subtraction, too. So you got to pay attention to what's going on because the moment you see that, you may go, right there it is. There's my inequality. Where's the rest of it? Hmm? Well, that's a subtraction right there. 22 less than 8, eight times the number is greater than 44. So there we got to do that. All right, so 8 minus 22, oh, 8x, sorry, 8x, 8x, because it's 8 times the number, so it's 8x, or m, they actually told us to use m, so we should use m, like they tell us to. 8m minus 22 is greater than, so this is greater than 44. So that's what we're looking for there. Watch that, because that's easy to mess up. So 8m minus 22 is greater than 44. Hopefully I got that right. All right, there we go. So, kicks us right back in. Keep going. Louise had 119 to spend on earrings. Each pair costs $10. Which inequality shows how many pairs of earrings that can, per can be purchased? All right. They have 119 to spend on earrings. If you have 119 to spend on earrings, can it be 119? Well, it can be. Can it be more than 119? Well, it can't be more than 119, so it's got to be less than or equal to 119. Can't be anything more than that, so. Let's see here. Less than or equal to 119. Did I do that right? Less than or equal to, yeah. Less than or equal to 119. Okay, so each pair costs $10. So $10. And they used m times m is less than or equal to 119. Is that on there? Well, this is 10m is less than 119. Well, it's, it could be less than, but it could also be equal to 119. Uh, it can't be greater than, so we can cross that out. And this is where I said you should be able to eliminate at least two. See how they have greater than, greater than? I can eliminate those two right off the bat because of greater than, and then I'm just down to the two. Well, this one makes more sense. So there, I have that. Right? All right. So Buffy needs to save a minimum of $455 by the end of summer. So minimum of $455. She already owes her dad $42 and must pay him back before she can start saving. So she owes somebody else that. If she has 10 weeks to save, which inequality shows how much Buffy needs to save each week? All right. So <coughs> Buffy needs to save minimum of 455. So 
455. Can it be less than 455? No. Okay. Can it be 455? Yes. So you see how I'm asking these questions about what's going on inside of this? Okay. So it can be 455. Can it be more than 455? Yeah. So it can be greater than or equal to 455. Then we go from here. She already owes her dad $42, so she owes somebody else $42, so minus $42. Must pay him back. If she has 10 weeks to save, which inequality shows how much Buffy needs to save each week? So I would do 10W. They use K, that's fine, it doesn't matter, it's a different variable, but it's the same thing. So you have, or you have 10 weeks, right? Uh, yeah. So this, it doesn't matter. You have 10 weeks. This is the amount you need to save each week. So 10 times the amount you need to save each week minus the $42 that you owe somebody else and you want to get greater than or equal to 455. There we go. See how I just kind of went through that. Now that I have that, I can go through here and just pick it out. Should be that one. Then the rest line up with what we're looking at. And again, less than, less than. So I know I'm here or here. I can eliminate the other two. And there we go. All right. We're back to those real world problems of having our inequality and trying to figure out which one of these represents that. So here, here we go. We're going to read it. 11.25 is less than or equal to 3.25x minus 8.25. All right, so it should say less than or equal to, or there some version that gives me that. All right, as I read through these things, and sometimes they're they're difficult. You might want to flip this around so that it makes more sense. So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write it both ways: 11.25 less than or equal to 3.25x minus 8.25. But I can also write this, if I take everything from this side and everything from this side and I flip it, I have to flip the inequality. So I'm going to go ahead and do that just so I can see maybe it, it's worded differently and it makes more sense. So here we go. 3.25x minus 8.25 is greater than or equal to 11.25. All right, so it should be one of these two versions. So be, be aware of what you might be looking at here. I always like the variable on the left, it makes it easier. But we're going to read through it and see. All right, Ahab receives $325 for allowance each month. Okay, so that lines up with that. However, he spent $825 to go to the bowling alley. Again, that lines up with that. If he does not spend any more money, how many months will it take Ahab to save less than $1125? If he doesn't spend any more money, how many? Than or equal to. Ooh. He spent 825. I don't know. Maybe. We're gonna come back to that one. Let's go, let's go see what these other ones say. Because that is worded. Oh, say less than 1125. Should be less than 1125. So that's probably a no, because it says less than there. Let's read these others. We may have to come back to that one. But I think that's a no. All right, Ahab receives 825 for allowance each month. Wait, that would mean that he was getting 825 times X. That doesn't work. Okay, we can cross that one out. Okay, save less than 1125. Yeah, that, that one doesn't work. Ahab receives 325 for allowance each month. 325X, yeah, that works. However, he spent 825 to go to the bowling alley. Minus eight twenty. Okay, that works. If he does not spend any more money, how many months will it take him to save at least, at least eleven twenty-five, at least. Okay. Again, yep. Yeah. yeah uh, at least. At least. That's probably it right there. That one. That one. We like that one. Let's check the other one just to make sure. But I like that one. Ahab receives three twenty-five for allowance each month. Also, he received an extra eight twenty. Oh, that's adding eight twenty-five. But they do say what? At least again, but it, they add 825 there. 
It's got to be that one. So this one we cross out because of less than. This one's good. Okay, That's what you've got to be careful of. I mean, you take these things in steps. Take them in steps. And notice, when I switched this, it made it a lot easier for me to find this once I, once I switched this. Okay, So I would write both so that you see what's going on and you can read how it's worded and, and re review back to how it is. But at least, at least, we're good here. I like that one. Yep, see, then it kicked me back. Okay, guys, a lot of this stuff, I mean, these things right here, they are tough. Let's do, let's do one more of this one, just because I want to make sure we get a good understanding when we can do these, okay? So 101.25 less than 9x minus 6.75. So we're going to write that one again. We're going to do the same thing we just did, okay? We're going to do the same thing we just did. We're going to write it. 9x minus 6.75, and we're going to flip it. 9x minus 6.75 greater than 101.25. Okay, so this is what we're looking for. It, this should not equal this. Okay, so anything that has the terminology that is equal to it, we can kick it out. Okay. Um, we're looking for greater than or less than in this, and depending on what they have after it is what we're looking for. All right. So, Hall receives six seventy-five for walking the dog each week. Well, that would be six seventy-five times the number of weeks. This is probably no good. However, he spent nine dollars to go to the snack bar. If he does, yeah, this one's no good. That's six seventy-five times X. We can cross that out before we ever get to here. Okay. But let's look at it. If he does not spend any more money, how many weeks will it take Hall to save more than 101.25? More than? More than is, yeah, great, greater than, yeah. And notice, I keep looking back at my list, right? Because I don't want, it's easy to mess these things up. I keep looking back at the list to make sure I've got the right inequality. More than is greater than, it's almost here, but they've got these two numbers in the wrong spot, so we can cross that out. But it gives me a good indication of what the rest of these should look like. Hall receives $9 for walking the dog each week, 9x. However, he spent $6.75 to go to the snack bar, minus $6.75, so far so good. If he does not spend any more money, how many weeks will it take Hall to save at most 101.25? At most means you're not going to go over that amount. Okay, could it be that amount? Yes, it could be equal to that amount, but it can't be more than it. Well, anything that has that equals in it is bad. We're, we're done with that. We don't need that. Okay? Hall receives $9 for walking dog each week. Also, he received an extra $6.75 for his uncle for his birthday. How many weeks will it take Hall to save more than 101.25? All right, so 9x, 9x. Uh, and he received an extra, ooh, extra 675. We're subtracting 675. We're not adding 675. So that's a bad one. But we, we like the rest of this more than, greater than, more than. We like that. But that extra, we can't use that one. So it's got to be this one, right? All the rest we've crossed out. Hall receives $9 for walking the dog each week. I already spent 675. Yep. So far, so good. If he does not spend any more money, how many weeks will it take Hall to save more than 101.25? Yeah, we like that. That's a good one. Nice. Use the process I just did. Go step by step, all the way through, find your answer. Okay? These are tough. I'm not going to lie. They're tough. But refer, refer back to your word phrases. Get a little bit of help if you need it. Come see me if you need any help.